Welcome to WGNO News at 5. I'm LBJ, and even though it feels like it's been longer, phase one of reopening our city only started Saturday. We got a chance to sit with Mayor Cantrell today to discuss how she sees our status and what her concerns are. We flatten the curve. We save lives. So yes, it's worth defending because we're doing the right thing, focusing on the public health of our people and making sure the city of New Orleans is the safest place to live as well as visit during this pandemic. Mayor Latoya Cantrell defending the city's actions in response to the coronavirus. In a one-on-one -on -one interview, the mayor discussed a wide range of topics, and while the city's numbers continue to decrease, she's concerned about our neighbors and those that come into our city. Absolutely, I remain a concern, not just as it relates to our neighboring uh, parishes, but cities uh, and states as well, and really the country. Uh, we're a destination city, uh, and uh, there are no lines, you know, when it comes to uh, this virus, as it's demonstrated. With New Orleans now in phase one of reopening, naturally, many are looking forward to phase two. But Mayor Cantrell says she's being deliberate for a reason. I have not set a date in my proclamation. I did not set a date because I don't want the date to drive us. I want the data to continue to drive us. It's going to take up to 21 days, a little bit over that, to see the impacts of our actions from the first step to reopening. At that point, uh, we will make decisions again based on that data to therefore add in, you know, other businesses or expand uh, the capacity of businesses, but it will be driven by the data. The mayor also addressed the risk involved with the upcoming holiday weekend. I'm absolutely concerned about Memorial Day weekend, just as I was Mother's Day, but the public did the right thing. They demonstrated that and we have the data to prove it because again, we did not regress. We kept making progress. So if the people continue to do what we know that they've demonstrated what's possible, we'll continue to remain on the, the path to progress.